A very common question you may have been asked before by your Pokemon friends is which Pokemon do you want in your team for a good fight? Well today we're going to take a look at a Pokemon that's probably at the top of the list for a lot of you Pokemon fans. In this video we're going to show you how you can get Riolu super early so you can evolve it into the beast Pokemon that is known as Lucario. If you don't know what a Lucario is, well it's a fighting steel type Pokemon which makes it a great fit for any team and it does look pretty awesome too. So let's get into it so that you guys know how you can get one for yourself. But before you do, I would love to know what other Pokemon that isn't a legendary that you would have on your team. Tell us down below. And make sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the Pokemon guides we have here on the channel. So to begin with, we're going to focus on catching Riolu, and then we'll show you how to evolve it into Lucario. The reason that we're going to show you how to get Riolu first is because these spawn rates for Lucario are super low and rare. But if you do want to try your luck, you can find it in the mountainous regions in the northeast of the map. So we found this to be the better and more reliable way to get Lucario for yourself. You can easily obtain him in one of the early game areas by going to the hills that border Area 4 and Los Platos. If you exit from the western gate of Mesagoza and follow the route, you should be able to find one in no time at all, as after you cross the bridge, you follow the path up the hills or the path down, which are both great spawn locations for Riolu. That being said, if you are having trouble getting it to spawn, you can make a sandwich with encounter power fighting to increase your chances of a fighting Pokemon spawning in the area. You can get the ingredients for the sandwiches in shops that are available in most towns. But once you've captured Riolu for yourself, you're still going to need to evolve it, and it doesn't have a normal evolution method just by leveling it up. So you're going to have to increase your friendship level to maximum to get it to evolve into a Lucario, and the best way to do that is by battling and spending your time with it. But don't worry, we've actually rounded up some tips so that you can get your friendship higher as quickly as possible. If you travel back to Mezagoza and visit the Deli Bird Presence, you can actually purchase a Soothe Bell. This is an item that makes your Pokemon more friendly towards you when they hold it. Give this to Riolu and do some battles to speed up the process. In addition to that, you can also throw your Pokeball into an open area that allows them to walk around with you, and this also builds up friendship. You can even do picnics where you're able to watch your Pokemon to increase your friendship level even further. We ended up doing around 10 battles before our Riolu evolved into Lucario. If you are struggling to know just how far you've increased your friendship level with Riolu, you can actually visit an NPC. In the town center near the water fountain, you can find this NPC, and she will tell you the current friendship level of a Pokemon you select. So by following these methods, you should have your very own fighting Pokemon Lucario, but do let us know if there are any other Pokemon that we should be on the lookout for. And of course, do click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the great Pokemon guides that we have for you guys on the channel. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you do enjoy this one. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you did enjoy this guide, you're probably going to enjoy these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.